So this is gonna be a long-term water storage video, and this is gonna be great for everybody, but especially those of you guys that live in cities and suburbs. So I recently did a video on how to get IBC totes super cheap, so I encourage you guys to go check that video out. I'm gonna link that video in the description box below. But I think that IBC totes are a great long-term solution, especially for those of you guys that live in the city or suburbs or, or in any area really where you don't have a ton of space because these are a great way to really maximize your overall surface area for water containment and water storage. So right here I have two 544 gallon IBC totes that I got for literally pennies on the dollar. And what's great about this is you get a lot of water in a very small area space. So we're gonna take the measuring tape out and we're gonna show you exactly what we're working with here. So if we measure this across widthwise, it's approximately 39 inches, so three foot by three inches for one IBC tote. Now if we measure this lengthwise, we're at approximately 48 inches, which is four feet. So we're looking at from a length width standpoint three feet, three inches, and four foot. And if we look at this height wise, we are just underneath four feet. So we're at approximately 46 inches. And if you look at these IBC totes, they come with this metal caging, which does make them stackable. You can stack these. So essentially what I'm trying to say is if you have a place, whether that's a garage, a house, a shed, what have you, where you have four feet by four feet of space, you can store a lot of water. In fact, if you have at least eight feet of clearance, you can store at least 1,088 gallons of water. So with that kind of water storage, you can do a lot. Let's say there's a shit hits the fan scenario without real wall, Tiawaki. With that amount of water storage available, if you were to use 35 gallons of water every single day, it would last you approximately 32 days. So that buys you initially 32 days of survival time if you use 35 gallons of water every single day. If you use less, it buys you even more time. And in my opinion, IBC totes are perfect for long-term water storage. Here's a couple reasons why. First things first, this IBC tote material, this plastic is meant for long-term liquid storage, whether that's for fertilizers or water, what have you, it's meant to not break down. So that's number one. Number two, it's size and shape is built for distributing water in heavy, you know, in heavy loads, right? This is 544 gallons. That's a lot of weight. I mean, this could easily handle 5,000 plus pounds of weight inside of it, no problem. Next, this metal cage is built great. You can literally stack these on top of each other. So the cage is gonna keep everything nice and organized and tight, and it's gonna keep your IBC tote secured inside the cage. Also, this tote, and both of them are the same way, you can fill from the top directly. So it's easy to fill, and you can fill from the top. And with this amount of water storage, right? 544 gallons is per perfect for gravity fed systems, especially since it has a spout right here at the very bottom. And this spout is perfect for any kind of electrical pump that you want to do. And these totes, in fact, even come with it, their own ground connect right here. So if you're looking for a long-term water storage solution for you and your families, and you live in the cities or suburbs, you really can't beat IBC totes. Like I said, for the price point, I literally got mine for pennies on the dollar. And again, I'll reference the video in the description box below for you guys to take a look at. But really, I don't think you can come up with a better system for the price point. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I always love interacting with you guys in the comment section. And as always, guys, long live the Republic.